Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to optimize your rendering time for these kind of scenes. What happens in this scene is that the camera doesn't move at all, meaning that we'll have the same background at all times, this background over here. Therefore, um, we could simply just leave the character and its shadow over here and ask Blender to render only those, um, those items, we could say. And later on, we would be making a composition for adding the character and its shadow to the background. Basically, what I mean over here um, is that you have uh, probably something like this. You get from Blender a sequence of images like this one, and you are going to add the background like the one over here. So the problem here is that if you do that manually, like you convert the sequence to a video and then you just add the background, the shadow doesn't look so nice. So actually we can fix that very easily using uh, Blender's compositor. So let's go back to Blender. And over here in Blender, what we are going to do first is just to leave the character and the lights. I have got this um, on different layers, so just uh, let's hide this. Uh, let's show the lights and that's pretty much it. Now what we are going to do is to create a plane. In my case, I simply just have to scale it um, two and a half times and that's going to be enough. Now, over here, we simply have to uh, make sure that under the render settings, over here in film, the word is film over here, we said uh, we enable this transparent and for this plane, make sure that it is selected and go here to the object tab. And over here at the bottom, cycle settings and enable shadow catcher. In that way, what we have done over here, I'll go, hold on, let me check. Um, I think I need to set the samples. Okay, let's set the samples to 100 and let's show the render in a new window. So what we have done so far over here um, is just to leave the, I mean, Blender is going to render just the character and its shadow, that's it. And now we have to ask Blender to add the background over here for every, every single um, frame. So what we do here um, is to go to the node editor and in the node editor, go over here, check use nodes and backdrop in order to see what we are doing. So over here, let's go ahead and add the image. So I have the image over here okay over here this one this one over here so just drag and drop it there and over here we are going to add color alpha over connect this to the first input this one to the second one we can remove this and let's add then over here the viewer and this is what we get. Basically, this is adding the background and this is going to add the, the renders that Blender generate over there for the um, in the sequence. So you just need to connect this to the compositor in order to make sure that Blender is going to render everything there and every single keyframe is going to be um, with um, this result. So let me show you over here. If we render it again, um, it seems that it's going to do like the same thing, but it actually is going to add background at the end. Let's just move forward. Over there, so as you can see, uh, Blender has um, composited everything there and the shadow blends very well. So I really hope this tip is really useful for you. It has been really useful for me because uh, the rendering time is three times faster approximately in, in this particular case. Okay, thank you very much for watching and hope you have a great day. See you.